You're watching DIY Nate. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to my weekly content. Today on DIY Nate, we're installing a Reva shelf, uh, which is a slide-in, slide-out shelf system for trash cans. You can also use it for some other things, but I'm putting in a trash can one. We're about to have our kitchen redone with some uh, repainting of our uh, current wood cabinets. You can kind of see that older cabinet look, uh, kind of that older, um, I don't know, you call it honey uh, honey oak or something like that. Um, but we're gonna put in a uh, slide-in, slide-out uh, drawer and you'll see right where I'm talking about, we're gonna put it in right here. Um, and I've got a little bit of work I need to do in prep. I'm gonna take these hinges off. And I'm also, I've got a shelf back there. You can see that shelf right in there. And you can also see I've got an electrical outlet right there uh, that I need to make sure it won't run into. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing here. And we're gonna put this uh, Reva shelf with the two trash can system. Um, line that up and get going here. We skipped over some uh, of the unboxing and me knocking out the shelf and uh, going ahead and removing the hinges. So you get the idea that we're right in the middle of the process here. Okay, our next step, uh, we're just gonna take this uh, front handle here. We're gonna snap this in place down here like this. And you gotta push it until you hear the click. Let's do that one on that side, okay? So that makes it an easy push in, pull out function. So our rabbit shelf is moving right along. Okay, for this part, I'm making a slight modification to the uh, suggested approach. I'm actually using a compression washer on top of the uh, metal screw because I think that I'd like to have a little extra support on the side so it's, knowing my kids, they're probably gonna try at any moment to push down on this thing and it might create a little bit of a problem for us. Um, so I wanna make sure I've got this just about right. I'm also gonna check my measurements. I'll probably put a, a, a mark in there uh, to give me the exact spot where I wanna drill uh, these screws. Can't emphasize this enough, always get to check your work before you put it in. So I wanted to make sure my clearance is good enough there and I'm gonna have plenty of rim. Looks like it's gonna work very nicely uh, with enough head rim by, by a good stretch there. And so I'm also noticing I'm slightly off center, um, which is actually okay in my case because I have an electrical box on the back side here. Um, so I'm okay with being a little bit off um, to a little bit more to the right side than the left. Um, so that's gonna work just fine for me. Um, I'm gonna check my measurements again, so I'm about an inner inch and a half, call it an inch and a half off on that side, and over on this side, I'm two and a half inches. So I feel pretty good with that. Instead of even marking it, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it close to the edge here. Just using a simple driver here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop the uh, screw in here, from this angle. support on the side um, that a standard screw even with metal supports on the side I like to have that little extra just because I know my kids are gonna be rough on this thing uh, and my wife and me will well I'll put it through its motion so by having that extra, extra get a little extra uh, a little extra support on the side a little more coverage area so now we know that's in there pretty good I've got to reach into the back uh, to really get into those those back slots there Go ahead and do that right here. A little tricky. Uh, they give some advice about you might have to take certain parts apart to be able to get to those that is uh, this last uh, last two holes. But I'm pretty confident I can get there without not too much trouble. The hardest part is going to be keeping the screw um, the screw in line while I get my hands back here. But hey, when I when I go after the challenge. Now we've got the uh, compression washer again, going right on there. And this will be the last one. I'm gonna run it by my wife and see what she thinks and get the uh, seal of approval, hopefully. Otherwise, I'll be in the doghouse. So 
So what I found when I was installing in the back uh, and trying to put the screws in, the, the uh, metal uh, bracket was giving me some, a hard time to work around it. So I ended up taking the bracket off um, while I was midstream in the project and then uh, putting the final screw in uh, with that compression washer. And then I came back and reattached uh, the metal bracket. So that's what you see me doing here. There we go. Our slide drawer is looking good. Should be able to have installed this one no problem now. Let's just put it back in the grooves. It is nice and easy. Just a little bit of push. Push here. It's going to slide nice and easy back in this position. Good to go. So everything is in the flat. and uh, it feels very highly quality made. It's, it's a very high quality product, so thumbs up. If you want to check out where to get a Revis shelf, I'll be happy to put a link in my description through Amazon. You can buy it there. Um, this size is a particular size that I purchased. Feel free to check that out. Uh, it works with a lot of sizes. I think if you've got more than 15 inches width um, and then 21-ish inches back and then something like, uh, call it 20 inches tall, so that's about what I'm working with. Um, and so it worked out really well for me. So pretty happy with this purchase and the installation. So. so in the first part of the video, I showed installing the Rebishelf RV18KD17C product. So you can see how uh, heavy duty and durable it is. I'm really happy with it. Then from there, I'm, I'm showing you uh, how the finished product looks after I installed the door mount brackets. The part number for that is 5WB-DMKIT. Uh, you can find that in the link below as well. And you can see how great that turned out. Really excited with this product. Okay, in case you're wondering, the uh, the kit uh, that comes with the Reva shelf is also uh, in, known as a 5WB-DMKIT um, is the model number right up there or uh, also known as an RV-DM17KIT-5. So uh, that's what uh, they've got here. They say it takes about 20 minutes. Um, really easy to put this in, not too difficult once you get everything moving. So um, I didn't show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it, but um, certainly post in the comments if you want me to refilm that and uh, put that in there for you if you have trouble, but hopefully you get the idea. Now I'm showing you how the rubbish shelf turned out here. We actually had our cabinets redone recently. You can see uh, how great this turned out we actually used an attachment um, as well and I'll put the link in the description here where you can uh, fasten on the um, uh, the bracket there um, so that you can have the door hardware on there uh, but it turned out really nicely um, I feel like this is awesome so really adds to the kitchen look and kind of gives it a refreshed feel uh, we had our uh, cabinets redone as I mentioned so uh, the whole the whole kitchen looks nice but this is one of the cool features that uh, we've added to it with that uh, that Reva shelf so uh, hope you enjoy it check out the link if you'd like to purchase it uh, below in the description and uh, thanks for watching this DIY Nate video. Have a great day.